Now to a big day for NASA and our locally based scientists at NASA Langley Research Center on the peninsula. The four astronauts taking on the Artemis 2 mission have now been announced as we take one step closer to being on the moon. Don Gabakis has the update this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis 2 crew. <laughs> Applause thundered inside the Johnson Space Center in Houston as NASA tapped three men and one woman to head to the moon. Mission specialists Christina Koch and Jeremy Hansen, pilot Victor Glover, and Commander Reed Wiseman will embark on a 10-day journey circling the far side of the moon. Am I excited? <laughs> Absolutely. The four-person crew includes the first woman, the first person of color, and the first international crew member on a lunar mission. Together, they'll become the first to fly NASA's Orion capsule. Orion looking back at Earth as it travels toward the moon. An unmanned Orion completed a test run last year, capturing incredible images from space. Artemis 1 was a resounding success, and Artemis 2 will leverage that by putting humans in the loop. This is the first moon mission since Apollo 17 back in 1972. The Artemis 2 crew will not land or even go into lunar orbit, but instead pave the way for future space exploration. It is the next step on the journey that gets humanity to Mars. Yeah, you can clap for that. That's big. As the crew told CBS News, it's an enormous responsibility. We will have the eyes of several nations of the world on us. Um, we have all of our friends in the astronaut office. We don't want to let them down. We want to make them proud. We are the mission is scheduled for no earlier than November of next year. If this moonshot is a success, NASA hopes to land astronauts on the moon once again by 2025. Donya back is CBS News, Los Angeles. Oh, well, this is so exciting. Well, two of the four Artemis astronauts have ties to our area. The pilot, Victor Glover, was assigned to the Blue Blasters of Strike Fighter Squadron VFA-34. He completed his final deployment on the USS John F. Kennedy during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The commander, Reed Wiseman, was assigned to Fighter Squadron 101 and 31. And also, uh, Christina Koch, she actually went to NC State, graduated from NC State for her undergrad.